What are you doing? A little pregame. Pregaming for what? The next video here. No, 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 no. You... Come on, this was today's email. You pregame with tequila. Oh, I. We don't yeah. pregame with wine. All right. You know it's great. It's tequila. Let's go. Okay. All right. What's going on? I can't believe you made me stop drinking the wine. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's right. not that. That's not how we start these I, videos. Yeah, I, I know. We start them with tequila. I know. So. That's my favorite. I knew that. Yeah, so I don't know what you were that doing. That was today's well, email. I was just excited. I had to like, I get it. I, I, quick try. All right, I'll give you. I'll give you a, a little bit of a pass. All right, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. That. So hey, we're here yeah. to talk about tomorrow's email, I guess. Huh? Yep, absolutely. So this is um, the new sort of high proof uh, pin hook they do at uh, once a year. This is the 2021, um, and it's uh, yeah, 59.97 percent alcohol. Get and it's uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. And this is kind of cool because, right, isn't this now, this is all their own? Yes. Uh, basically. So last year was the first year that it was all their own distillate. Um, and so this is the second release um, that is also using their own distillate, uh, the Castle and Key. All small batch, kind of, they very much highly picking yes. barrels and yep. blending and what happens. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's what really makes this kind of really interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. It's one, of, it's one of their sort of their limited releases, and we're excited to get a bunch of it and sell a bunch of it. I do like the purple, actually. You like that? I do. That's uh, in the bourbon world. It's called tatering. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so they, they, they do it for us. We don't have to do it. <laughs> which is perfect. Uh, which is great. Um, so yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's go. All right. We weren't sure where to go. I wasn't <laughs> sure where to, I don't know. It's, it's like one or the other. Well, no, uh, actually, Dude, truth be told, vicious, vicious is that I, right? as I was like halfway through, I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, you know, grab a, oh, properly. I didn't yeah, present yeah, to the, to our audience. Yeah, that's it. You're, you're. I really not. like our audience, but I'm not good with the engagement. You're much better with the audience engagement. Thank you. You're welcome. A little audience. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. It's oh, okay. Hey. Look who it is. Hey, it's, it's, it's a Scotch Elliot. expert. It's the Scotch expert. expert. Who's so where us? do you stand on adding water to cast strength whiskey? Necessary. 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 Uh, Absolutely. I almost agree. Okay. Because I do think it's an important piece. All right. It brings out the aromatics better. Much better. And also takes a little. It takes away a little bit of the heat in the back of the palate. Sure. So definitely. So 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 adding water to cast rank bourbon is definitely a controversial topic. It is. Not everybody no, uh, believes in it. In the Scotch people, world, though, they would yes. be people cut. swear that they shouldn't do it. But in, if you did it side by side with that same person, they could taste it together at the same time. They go, huh, huh, I get it. Yeah. So we're gonna. So from our, So we're gonna do that yeah. right now. Yeah. Absolutely. You're three o'clock. Yeah. yeah. We're live oh, recording. This is great. actually. It would be better, it is <laughs> so, be better if it was live stream. Like it was live stream. Would have been so much better. <laughs> um, yeah. We're we're actually recording right now. Uh, so like like the, I, I understood how. why you were here, no, okay. but the whole banter was great until you. Oh, you threw that pot in? Yeah. It's all right. I'm going to cut it. Sure. Uh, no. <laughs> Here you yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah, right out of the bottle. Uh, go grab a glass. Uh, grab a glass from somewhere. Um, we'll Are those clean? Yeah. Clean enough. I like that. Clean enough. I might be able to, I might be able to continue with this. Somehow? I don't know. I don't know if we can continue this whole thing. Um, <laughs> but, this uh, is like, this is going to be amazing. It's just going to see the hands. Just oh, oh, no, 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 that's the dirtiest one possible, I think. Back, uh, yeah. Is this thing any cleaner? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course it is. A mason jar. A mason jar. I, I like uh, how oops. this is. Uh, all right, you want to try this out of the mason jar? This is. All right, let's see here. So we're trying to go straight. So it, definitely that cinnamon, those sort of those orchard and tropical fruits, um, but right. it's pretty assertive whiskey right now. Very. Light burn, but not very much. Beautifully balanced, considering the proof. Yeah, no, so that's like really... you don't need water, but let's try the water. It is, it is, um, yeah, it, it's balanced. It's not like hot, but it's definitely assertive. Um, and that's the skill of the distiller. If you can have high proof and balance, sure. And it happens not frequently, but when it happens, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yes. Okay, to your point, I feel as if the nose opened up yeah. quite a bit. Absolutely. And there's so that much more 
Yeah, you get, you're getting more richness, you're getting more texture, uh, you're, getting, you're definitely getting more, um, sort of the, the, the cinnamon sort of downplays a little bit and sort of the orchard fruits and the, the sort of tropical. I'm getting much more of the dried fruit. Yeah, it comes like, through. It's almost like a sugared, like a sweet, uh, yes. uh, uh, like mango or, or, yeah. or papaya or something like that. For sure. Yeah. Much more rounded. I'll see. Beautiful stuff. Goodbye. Thanks. Thank you. Oh. Uh, how long should I tell them? Another 10 or 15? Yeah, another five minutes. Yeah, just. <laughs> Just we walking, always get interrupted. Just walking but away. Anyway. Would, walking away would have been the perfect spot. Just walked away. But no. Okay. No, um, it doesn't matter. Come on. Okay. Um, so this is a great debate, but I do think the water has opened this bourbon up. And it, 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 elim it eliminates sort of that overt, assertive note in the beginning. It, it, it really tames everything down. But um, I also think it opened the bottle. Like it, it does. Just, it, I feel it actually, as if the you know, bourbon opened up absolutely. To, to have way more yeah. flavor. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more complexity than. Okay. So it it it's a thing. It's delicious though. Wow. It actually is very good. Uh, and I, really I, good. I'm, I, you're getting a lot of complexion. There's a lot of notes underneath coming through right yeah. now. Like it's just sitting on my palate. So, yeah. And I also like it because again, I'm not getting that sweet tone, which I don't always love about bourbon. So a little bit of that, that, that maybe yeah. that 50% rise, give me a little bit of that other, that a little bit of that spice you're getting, and, that, and, that, and you're getting uh, that like sort of green, sort of yep. like you, you would mention like evergreen, or evergreen like that, sort of, yeah, I definitely that see that, that, that and get that spice and that little bit yeah. of that black, black pepper. It's definitely not sweet bourbon. No, it's not, not, not dessert all. bourbon um, at all. This is, um, I think, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I think it's excellent. The balance is there. I think Elliot makes a really good point that it's when you can make a high proof bourbon yes. or whiskey and drink it and That's still not, have that balance right. without it being way out of, out of whack, which this was. I do think the water though added just just to me it helped open it up from a yeah. I, I traditionally um, drink everything neat. Yeah, I, I don't really add water to anything. I don't add an ice cube to anything. Um, but th this is a case in point where whiskey, this, this elevated to another level yeah, without so a question. It's true. I, yeah. I sometimes like to add an ice cube. I think it's especially in the summer months. I enjoy a little bit of that sitting on the porch with it. I know you don't, no. but that's, no. um, so this could potentially, but this, I, I, the, use or... there's no question the water made a difference. Yeah. Um, and it's actually a really beautiful whiskey that really, um, just eat at least a couple of notches up yeah. just by adding water. So definitely this is our great. email tomorrow. Uh, fifty four ninety nine. Um, actually, uh, no, forty nine ninety nine. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Sorry, forty nine ninety nine. So fifty bucks. Uh, really good value actually for a That's limited release um, bourbon these days. Yeah, um, I agree. Yeah, and uh, we also had special guest appearance with Elliot. We did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elliot to the program. Thank you. Um, but, and uh, uh, maybe we'll have him on actually on camera. Well, he might have been slightly on camera. I don't know. His we'll arm, find out. His, yeah, his arm was in there. Um, <laughs> Anyways, but there we go. Cool. Great. All right. Well, thanks. Okay. Thanks. All right.